A major new display of exhibits from the bombardment of the Hartlepools in the First World War has been officially opened. The town made national and international headlines when, just after 8 o'clock on the morning of the 16th of December 1914, German warships off the coast fired more than 1,000 shells on the Hartlepools, killing a total of 130 civilians and military personnel and wounding more than 500 others. Now that momentous day is recalled in a new gallery at the Museum of Hartlepool at Hartlepool's Maritime Experience. Mark Simmons, museum's manager at Hartlepool Borough Council, says the town hasn't seen this sort of exhibition before. It's 100 days we've taken to build this, uh, which is very short for an exhibition, but I think it's worked really, really well. The consultants from Infinite and the construction team from Creative Design have done a fantastic job with getting to this sort of uh, high quality type of exhibition that we've not really been able to sort of do before. Highlights of the gallery include a new audio-visual presentation narrated by North East broadcaster and historian John Grundy, the 130 ceramic poppies, which formed part of the artwork Blood Swept Lands and Seas of Red at the Tower of London last year, a roll of honour of the names of all the 130 Hartlepool people known to have died in the bombardment, and the return to display of the famous bombardment clock, which stopped when it was pierced by a shell fragment. The exhibition has been produced by Hartlepool Council's Museum Service and the Imperial War Museum helped the project by allowing the use of its archive footage. The Museum of Hartlepool is open every day from 11am to 4pm and entry is free.